guys how are you all doing i hope you're well so today i have another hair tutorial for you like i promised but before i start if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for the subscribe button is somewhere over there down there click it so you can stay tuned for all my videos i have so many tutorials coming for you this summer and i'm trying to ease into it slowly starting off with very you know simple looking style so today i'm going to be showing you how i achieve this box braids Funny enough, I haven't done box braids like this in a very long time. I wanted to do crochet braids, then I wanted to do really jumbo braids, but I was like, you know what, let me do something that I know a lot of people could, you know, really like to wear. So, I did this style on myself, and I really like it. It's, oh, I just, I just love this. I think I'm going to have this on for a while. The last style I did, I carried for two and a half weeks, so thereabouts. I plan on having this in my hair for three weeks, a month maximum. So I'm just going to jump straight in and tell you guys what you need for this hairstyle. You're going to need, um, of course, some braiding hair. This is the brand of braiding hair I used. And I did mention in my last video where I really like this brand. You can use Expressions. I know that's a popular brand for people to use. But this brand, I find I don't need to pull. I don't really need to pull vigorously to get the really um, tapered ends on my braids. And also, I don't need to do any cutting. This comes in the length that I like my braids in. I used eight packets of these. I know eight packets. But it's actually not very, it's not heavy. It's very lightweight as well. So the, And this is 99p a packet. So eight pounds which is pretty great so yeah I used eight packets you're also going to need some rubber bands and I use these rubber bands and the method I used to braid my hair I guess is called the rubber band method and I did this because I find it really difficult to um, grip when I'm braiding my own hair and I find that my braid can slip and I have to start again and this rubber band method really helps I had no slipping very easy to grip and it made everything just neat and fast and yeah so you're going to need some rubber bands you're also going to need of course a hair parting tool and this is um, a teasing comb and I just sharpened the um, tail of it to really help me with getting my part as straight as possible you're going to need some hair clips just to keep things out of the way you're also going to need some scissors obviously to trim the ends and um what else you're going to need some gel of course and a little brush to like you know lay your baby hairs down and I believe that's everything now um I start off the video showing you basically my hair almost done I'll just show you how I do each braid to make this um, braiding method um, easy for me, I part, divided my hair into four sections and I dealt with my hair in sections. And I used two packs per section of my hair. So two packs, two packs, two packs, and two packs. Yes, let me know any hair tutorials you want to see. I see all the comments that you're leaving on my previous video and all the views and the likes. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. And keep supporting me so I can keep doing more hair tutorials. It's a lot. Of, it's really nice having the motivation. So yes, I'm gonna carry this for three weeks, and I'll be back to you guys with another hairstyle. I hope you guys are well. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. I'm brushing the braiding hair to stretch it out. Then I take a piece of braiding hair and I divide it into two sections. I put them over each other to form a cross, and then I lock them together to make a link like so. If you can't understand exactly what I'm saying, just try to watch my actions. It might be easier for you that way. To start off my braid, I attach the braiding hair to my already sectioned hair, making sure the length section is at the top and my natural hair is in the middle. Using my left finger, I push my natural hair through the middle and over the right piece of the braiding hair. I use my left finger to secure it. And then I twist the braiding hair, bringing the left piece of the braiding hair to the middle. I start to braid by taking hair from each side and putting it in the middle. Once I've braided enough to secure the extensions to my hair, I split the thicker section of the braiding hair into two, taking that piece and putting it in the middle. This allows my hair and the braid to blend seamlessly. I essentially want my hair to be the same length and thickness as the over two pieces of the braid in here.
that I'm done braiding my entire head, I dip the braids in very hot water to seal them and to tame any frizz. Please be very careful and have someone help you if you can because this is very hot water I'm using. I also put a towel in the hot water and press on top of my braids to relieve any tension and smooth any flyaways and that's pretty much it. Thank you.